All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Christopher Saul, player of the match for today, and from Scotland. He's ready for your questions. Chris, I'm sure you are the most um, not so popular man in Zimbabwe because of the damage you caused. But what was your game plan with your team when you came into this game? Zim didn't play so well against Sri Lanka. Did you read something into it? But they'd had a good run in the previous matches. I don't know about that. The, the crowd were chatting my name at one point, so <laughs> I can't be uh, public enemy number one just yet. Um, in, terms of, in terms of plans coming in, we knew if we played our best cricket, we'd come out on top. Um, and today we did. Uh, we've had quite a bit of momentum. We've, we've just come off some really good cricket against West Indies as well. And it's all about just sticking to plans uh, and execution. And uh, fortunately, we did that today and we, we came out with a win. There was a bit of a glimmer of hope for Zimbabwe in the last uh, uh, part of the game. Did you feel under pressure at one stage that they could just eclipse what you had put on the table? Uh, yeah, those sort of games are always an arm wrestle. You've just got to stay in the fight for as long as you can. I mean, Ryan Bell played a, a really good knock then. I think the only ball he didn't, didn't time was the one he got caught on. Um, he, he picked his risks and stuff and, and was playing some really good cricket shots. Um, but if there's a man you want with the ball in hand to, to put a hand up and uh, say, I'll, I'll get the wicket, it's Michael Leask. He loves the battle. So uh, it was a great job from him to come back in that over and take the, take the pole. Uh, this must be more satisfying given the number of players that couldn't make this trip. Uh, yes, I know. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the whole thing about this squad is that everyone is uh, mucking in and there's a, a massive amount of belief. Um, I mean, everyone, everyone knows what their job is and it's just about putting, putting that in place and doing it. Um, so it doesn't, it doesn't matter who we have on the park. Everyone's got full confidence in each other and to do their skills and nail it on the day. Then coming into this game, you clocked 155 with one of the bowls that should be the fastest in the tournament. Personally, how does that feel for you that you're bowling that fast? Yeah, it feels quite good. Um, I did say to my roommate, uh, Wattie, um, it would be quite nice to join the 150 club. So <laughs> that was quite nice to, to take that off today. But luckily, they were going straight as well. What sort of pressure did you guys find yourself leading into this match? And like he said, at the point in which Zimbabwe were a bit coming back in, what was Richie saying to you, looking that this is the first time that he's leading this charge of players at such, with so much at stake? What are the words coming through from you, Captain? Uh, it's nothing we're not used to. I mean, every, every game we ever play in a season is a must-win game whether it's World Cricket League 2 or, or whether it's a World Cup qualifier, they're always must-win must games, so there's nothing we're not used to. Um, but it's just about staying in the, in the arm wrestle, as it was, and, and when the opportunity comes, take it. And uh, I think we did that pretty well today. And uh, how does it feel, coming into a tournament, you're not really part of the tournament's favourites or uh, the people being mentioned if West Indies qualify, Sri Lanka qualify, but you guys are one shot away from qualification. How does that feel? Uh, we're forever called the underdogs. So <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty used to it. We don't mind. Um, and, I mean, people always say it's an upset, but we're, we're doing it more and more, and uh, I think it's probably time we change the word from upset to Scotland just beating sides because, I mean, we've done it pretty convincingly earlier in the week and, and we've won again today. I mean, three out of four of the Test Nations at this tournament we've beaten. Thanks so much. I love your Crocs, by the way. They're fantastic. <laughs>